Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we're in a different ship's conning tower. This is the protected cruiser Olympia, which, much like Battleship New Jersey, has a conning tower to protect her bridge crew in combat. Just like an Iowa-class battleship, uh, Olympia has four redundant steering positions. Above us, there is a steering station that's uh, in sort of a uh, wooden chart house type space uh, where you can actually get some ventilation, unlike in here. That one is connected to this wheel via a giant bicycle chain. So basically, they're both operating together. And this is a uh, steam hydraulic system. So they're using steam power uh, to turn the rudder. So there's a special steam motor for this, and if that goes out, you can't do this. But because this has a power drive, you can turn the wheel with just two fingers, which you cannot do with the other two wheels. So back aft on this deck, uh, there is a big triple wheel, which in these photos only has two wheels because the other part is uh, down for maintenance. Uh, but it's supposed to be a triple wheel so that you can get six guys on it. Uh, and that is a pure uh, mechanical system that they are using. Uh, and so it takes a lot of manpower to be able to crank it. It's why it's a triple wheel. It's why older sailing ships that are just tied to their uh, rudder by a rope have uh, a double wheel so you can get a lot of people on it. You don't need that here. There's another wheel down inside the armored part of the ship in an after steering style position that uh, is the same way. It's, it's attached right to the rudder there mechanically. Uh, in my opinion, the coolest feature of this sort of conning tower, uh, conning towers obviously don't have much ventilation and you're behind several inches of armor plate here, roof is retractable. So it can, uh, in theory, if it's functioning properly, there's a ratcheting crank that will lift this up to give you six inches of height, so you've got a little bit of ventilation in here. Or, in an emergency, you can crank it all the way down so that the view slit ends up being sealed entirely. Unlike Iowa-class battleships that have huge closing doors, you saw coming in through this conning tower, there's no door, but there is a uh, armored wall behind it that creates a little passageway and also means that if something explodes out there, shrapnel is not going to be able to come in here. It might go through that passageway or it might go into the armor, but it isn't able to go through the door and get in here where the captain cons the ship in battle. So this is the space where Captain Gridley conned Olympia during the Battle of Manila Bay. And it is most likely through one of these voice tubes in here that Admiral Dewey called down to Gridley, you may fire when ready, Gridley. The famous line from the battle. Um, otherwise, this isn't too dissimilar from Battleship New Jersey. You've got a rudder angle indicator here. You've got all your communication stuff. There's an armored tube going down through here with all of your uh, connection and communication stuff. And of course, you've got engine order telegraphs, uh, one each port and starboard, so you can tell your two screws what direction to turn in and how fast. So uh, from the conning tower, you can see a little bit where you're going, especially if this is cranked up a little bit more, uh, but there isn't any sort of uh, compass in here. And maybe there would have been a mounting point or maybe you would have just had a handheld compass. Uh, in any event, above us, there is a magnetic compass in a binnacle that uh, points to true north. So even though most of your bridge crew is protected in here, I suspect uh, at all times there would be guys unprotected out on the walkways. This ship has a literal bridge from the earliest definition where a bridge is not like an enclosed space with windows like you get on Battleship New Jersey, but it is a literal wooden bridge over the deck that allows the commanding officer to walk from side to side and see where he's going. How many steering positions did your ship have? Was it four like Olympia or New Jersey? Let us know in the comment section down below. The concept of the armored conning tower goes out the window post-World War II 
right alongside armor plating. Uh, so your ship likely didn't have one of these spaces. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other businesses and uh, private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support, and if you'd like to continue supporting the museum and our YouTube channel, there's a link in the comment section down below. Uh, there's also a link down there for if you would like to support the ongoing restoration efforts on Cruiser Olympia. You can also support our museums by liking, sharing, and subscribing our various social medias. Uh, that way more people find out about us, and uh, odds are, if you like the content we're creating on Battleship New Jersey, you'll also like what they're doing on the Cruiser Olympia's YouTube channel, so be sure to like uh, Independent Seaport Museum's page as well. Thanks for watching.